what's going on guys dr schwaz here welcome back to another gear Five video today i'm going to be doing a video on tips and tricks for the marksman class in horde and in escape um so let's get started here first tip is uh pretty obvious uh make sure that you have an active reload on the weapon like the long shot prior to using your ultimate um Without actives, you can't really one-shot a lot of things in Master Horde or Escape, so make sure you have an active uh, prior to using the ultimate uh, to maximize your damage um, output. Tip number two, uh, you can one-shot a Guardian or Sentinel via X-ray through a wall in Master Difficulty if it's an active critical shot with a long shot, um, especially with perks. Um, so no, one thing a lot of people don't know is that you get more uh, damage with x-ray when you shoot enemies through a wall and the more walls the better um so use that to your advantage and that goes on to tip number three which i just mentioned uh, you deal more critical damage to enemies in x-ray if they're shot through a wall the more walls the more damage dealt the more multiple multiplying damage you get and since precision shots penetrate through targets you may be able to get collaterals that way it doesn't really happen that much again i don't play marks in a ton the, it's a probably a better passive than the old one where we used to drop pilfer boxes everywhere if you got too many headshots or something but you can get collateral shots if enemies are lined up that way tip number four when dealing with rejects shoot them in the legs uh, eliminate them faster use marks or bolt talk ammo to quickly take them out from afar so that's one of the weaknesses of the marksman is the reject some of these smaller enemies you want you like your teammates to probably take them out chainsaw or lancer them down but I wouldn't use long shot ammo on it because you don't want to waste a lot of ammo on them. Rejects have a ton of health, so just shoot them in the legs with a bolt talk and uh, that'll be it with them. Easy way to deal with the rejects. Tip number five is just something to watch out for. So if you have two marksmen in a private lobby and they play in the same game, and if they were to activate their ultimates at the same time, uh, the second marksman's x-ray will cancel out the first one. So that's just a bug with <laughs> multiple duplicate classes that you might want to watch out for is to try to communicate and not try to use the ultimates at the same time uh, because it can have that effect where the first marksman could be in their ult and the second one pops it and the first marksman's ultimate ends so just, just be cautious of that 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 can happen uh tip number six is stick to long shot and marksa um in horde or in escape uh, the M bar is a very weak in comparison. It's just not that strong. It's so much weaker than a long shot. Um, it's stronger than a Marksa, but it's not very good in comparison. On top of my head, a long shot active headshot in Horde does 7,812 damage. And an active M bar headshot only does 3,750. That's almost twice as strong. Um, give you a dps comparison there of course there are some situations where mbar is still useful like active reloading to stun enemies from afar or in a few setups where running modified mbar um would be useful like in the split hive where there's only mbars um there's no no long shots anywhere or in a, like a or if you're running frenzy on atrium where you have the relic weapons maybe you're, you're running a relic mbar and running those M bar cards would be helpful there. But in most situations, you want to stick with long shot cards to maximize your output. Tip number seven, final tip, is if you see a Bastion in X ray, make sure to take that out first. More than likely, it's shielding a Scion or a Warden or a Sire or some smaller enemy. Yeah, you want to take care of Flyers first. That'll make it easier for the rest of your team. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Marksman Tips and Tricks video guide. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Leave any comments below. See you guys in the next video. You all have a good one. Peace.